We are using the uh, Smucker's Super Sponge on our edible beans, on our pintos and our blacks, to uh, go over the top and to get rid of our uh, the Palmer amaranth that is uh, growing quite quite profusely in our bean field. If the uh, if the chemical if the gramoxone drips onto the the edible beans onto the the blacks or the pintos. It does not kill them like the Banville or the Ingenia or the Roundup does. It just burns that leaf off. Whereas if we wipe it on the whole stem of the palmer or the pigweed or the kosher or whatever else weeds that are out there, uh, if it wipes it on the stem, it kills it. So, uh, we had some pretty bad uh, escapes last year in our in our soybeans, and honestly, between our neighbors and everyone I've talked to, uh, the resistant weeds are getting to be quite a bit of an issue. But with our non-GMO beans, um, a rescue treatment of Roundup is not even uh, well possible uh, because you'll kill the beans with the Roundup. Uh, Show Dad what I was talking about. He was very leery. Uh, he remembers using a real quick in the past. And uh, although I wasn't 100% sure at the time, uh, <laughs> I did everything to convince him that uh, it's not a rope whip, Dad. And reluctantly, he went along with me. And after using them, it's definitely not a rope whip. Um, they're far superior to the old ways where we used to go in and try to get chemical to run down a tube and into the rope and he didn't get a lot of surface area to wipe the weeds with with the sponges it's it, it's a lot more surface area to wipe the weed the concentration on the actual sponge is a lot higher uh, so you actually get more chemical on the weeds than we ever got with rope wick um, once we actually got them here and used them um, even a doubter like my dad was very impressed this is unbelievable. Yeah, the spine holds the material 100% better than the old rope wick. Like I said, overall, very, very pleased with the product, uh, with the experience we had with it, and especially the experience with the Smucker manufacturing.